Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're doing something very exciting, at least for me personally, which is a little Dunn Stores haul. So Molly and I were in Abbey Centre not too long ago when we popped into Dunn Stores. And I have always enjoyed Dunn Stores, but I've always enjoyed it slightly more for work stuff or maybe occasion wear. And we went into Dunn Stores and I was very pleasantly surprised at what they had. It was a little bit more modern and on trend and for really, really good prices. So I have been trying to get away from doing as much online shopping and did a little bit more shopping in person. So I actually went to Abbey Centre on two separate occasions and I picked up some and pieces so I'm yet to try everything on and I think some stuff might be being returned but what I did want to do was pick up kind of a bit of a wider array of stuff just to showcase what they have on so I definitely would recommend it a visit and um, I also got one thing for Kyle and one thing for my mum so I do have the thing for Kyle here that I'd have to run and get the thing that I got for my mum and like I said the prices were great and the quality is great and I was pleasantly surprised I'm repeating myself pleasantly surprised at the fact that they had like basics but like trendy basics and there were some other bits and pieces which were weren't available in my size. I knew I wouldn't get the wear of that I didn't pick up. Like I said, I definitely recommended a visit and I might see if I can see some of those other bits and pieces online and put screenshots up in them because it was a denim shirt, which I was obsessed with, but they didn't have it in my size. Otherwise I definitely would have bought it. So I'm not gonna go through these in any particular order. I'm just literally gonna go through what is in the bag first and then I will switch to trying the stuff on. So when I'm talking about it now, I haven't tried the stuff on yet and I will talk about it once I try it on. So I'm gonna try and keep things short and simple. And I'm just trying to figure out now if I need to to zoom me out or not if I'm gonna be talking about the products anyway. Anyway, I will stop rambling and show you the stuff. So the first thing that I picked up was this Dunn Stores fleece. So this is not my first rodeo. Dunn Stores do really good fleeces and this is definitely a bit of a weird one to start off with considering I was just talking about their trendy pieces. But these are seven point and they are the softest material ever. If like me, you work from home, these are a great thing to own. So let's try it on. Okay, so here is the wee fleece on. I love the color. So it has two pockets, no zip, no zips on the pockets rather. It zips up to the front. This is how it fits me. Hopefully you can see okay. I'm a little bit close to the camera sleeves perfect this material is the softest ever yeah so I just think it is quite cute goes well with most things they either used to be like done small extra smalls or they used to be done in eights and tens so whatever size I said this was gray one that I had doesn't fit is like fitted as this and I feel like it has a really nice athletic look to it so very pleased with this so then back to kind of the more basics I did pick up quite a few t-shirts now I am really annoyed because one of the t-shirts which I'll show you later on I've come back on numerous occasions to try and get it in another color Color, but they don't have it in my size. So the first t-shirt, which was four point, is just this like light blue t-shirt with these lettuce hem sleeves and this lettuce hem. So again, just a really simple t-shirt that I just find, think will be really easy for styling. So I got the fleece in an extra small and I got this t-shirt in a small, so let's try it on. So this is the wee blue t-shirt on, so you can see just the wee detail of the hem around the um, sleeves and the bottom of the top. So the one thing to be aware of, the this top and I actually deliberately didn't change my bra. Now maybe it's not showing up as much on camera, hard for me to tell because of how bright my lights are, but in my mirror I can definitely see my bra underneath this top which is a pale pink bra. So that's fine, I have nude bras, I have white bras. I actually think I even have a bra that's maybe similar to this colour but it's just something to be aware of. Like it's just a wee light summer t-shirt so just to be aware of your underwear underneath this. It's definitely on the thinner side but I think it sits really nice and I really enjoy the length. So here's my belly button. So like high-waisted jeans, high waisted leggings. It just is like a perfect, it's not quite cropped, but it's not longer than a high waisted pair of trousers. So the next thing that I picked up was this black dress. So I got this as an extra small and this dress was 17 pound. Pricier for the rest of the stuff that I got, but compared to other stuff, not too pricey at all. So this would be one of those ones that will be a lot easier to talk about when it's on, but it has this ruched body. And then the rest is this like crocheted material. So it's black and it's about knee length. So yeah, let's try it on so you can actually see what it looks like. So this is the wee dress that I got and that's proving very hard to show you. I've like moved the camera back significantly, just gonna move all the stuff that I just tried on out of the way. So it goes to, if you can see just in the very bottom of the screen, longer than my arms, a little bit above my knees and it's this square cut. The only thing is though, is like it's slightly far out. Like it kind of peaks my bra straps, which to be honest, I think if I was wearing a black bra, it would blend in pretty well together. So actually originally I wasn't that far 
lost on this dress but now I actually think I quite like it it's very like easy breezy it's this ruching across the chest area and the stomach so like you could wear it to dinner and eat as much as you like and not get bloated so I actually think this is more of a winner than I was previously expected then along the seams of just the plain t-shirts just everyday t-shirts I got this plain well a it's not that plain and b I think it's you would describe it as a mint so it's just this short sleeve t-shirt here it's kind of cropped and it has this ruching up the middle so I got it in an extra small and it was seven point so it does sit a little bit big on me which I'll show you in a second but again just like super simple t-shirts to throw on that are comfy and just elevate my outfit slightly so let's try it on so here is the wee kind of minty-ish colored top on so as you can see basically this is more or less is it I definitely thought this was adjustable maybe it isn't adjustable I thought that I had been able to like brush this up so obviously this would need tied into just like a bow a bow I really can't tie bows and I'm trying to use my viewfinder well we'll go with that as an option but yes yeah, so it has slightly longer sleeves it's quite a low V and I definitely thought that you could like adjust this to like pull it out or pull it down but yeah again I quite like it I like the length of it and that it kind of like comes off like it's a bit of a crop but again with a pair of jeans like it's just the perfect kind of height then the last t-shirt that I picked up is this black t-shirt which I got in an extra small and it was eight point and it is this now am I wrong polo neck polo top so it's this little short sleeve collared shirt and it's kind of cropped and I really really like the fit of this and this is the top that I have been trying desperately to also get in white because I think it's really really cute so I'll show you it on so this is the wee black collared top on and I actually love this top I don't know what it is I feel like it's really flattering or something I actually forgot I definitely thought it was more of a rounded neck but it's like quite a v and then the collar is like really good it's like a really stiff material I don't know what it is about this top but it reminds me of like something that like a Charlie's Angel would wear I just think it's really flattering again really nice length I wouldn't have previously thought that I liked cropped clothes but actually because I wear high-waisted jeans and high-waisted leggings all the time cropped clothes are great because they just mean that there's no like tucking it's just the perfect length on me and i love it so i'm definitely trying to find this in white and hopefully they will have it in white at some point because i just really like it i really really like it then the last thing that i picked up that first day was just these two basics so if you've been watching my channel for a while now you'll know that i've been trying to find the perfect pair of black sweat because i'm not someone who really wears sweats out that often but i've been really looking for a nice comfortable pair that look okay which means if i need to run out to the shops that i can wear these sweats so i picked up these jog in a size extra small and they were seven pounds so obviously you'll see more when I try them on but they're just these plain black joggers with a draw waist and a draw bottom the only problem is that the draw bottom is a little bit loose but it's the smallest size they do and they're quite comfortable and I think they fit me well and then while I was there it's not technically a matching set but I picked up this black sweatshirt in a size small we could have gone for an extra small Kyle said to go for a small so that it would be loose enough to be comfortable because I didn't get a chance to try it on so so I did this was also seven point and also makes quite a nice little black sweatsuit so I will try that on with the sweats so here is this wee black sweatshirt on it's obviously very very plain it just has these wee like I don't even know if you'll be able to tell because I'm wearing black bottoms as well triangles here just to give it a wee bit of shape it's super super soft and just like yeah crew neck sweatshirt just super comfortable I actually don't own a black sweater well I do now and I'm actually really surprised that I didn't before because obviously super handy here's how they look on the waist they're just like simple we drawstring trousers they're like not too loose not too tight and they're just yet yeah, plain black and two pockets so catch me just wearing this for the rest of the day then the one item that i picked up for kyle which is for his birthday so might have to check when i'm putting this video off is just this running jacket he asked for trainers for his birthday so i got him this jacket it's full sleeved it's rainproof and i'm hoping that this gray here is reflective if not, I might return it because where he does live, he would always be running in high vis anyway. He lives out in the country and he genuinely takes it very seriously because there's no street light. So I think he wouldn't get as much use out of something that isn't reflective. So if it isn't reflective, then I actually genuinely will return it. So I'll just show you this full length now. So this is the running jacket that I got for Kyle. And in all honesty, I might return it because I feel like if this was adequately reflective to be like safe while running, it would be reflecting my ring light right now, which it isn't. I do think it's quite nice. It does say it's shower proof. It was 17 pounds, which is not a bad price at all. But I just feel like something that is more reflective would be more safer if he's gonna be using it out 
when it's raining in the autumn or in the winter it's also going to be dark and like i said he doesn't have any street lights so i think i'm going to return this i might try like turning my lights off in my room and putting my blinds on and taking a flash photo of this to see if it is or isn't reflective but i don't think it is so i think i'm going to return it then this which i got in a size 8 and was 13 pound was this white denim jacket so i'm yet to try this on showing it further back and i'll obviously show you on full length but i just thought this was a really like trendy thing for duns to have and for 13 pound i thought it was definitely worth getting and showing to mention because 13 pound is great and a white denim jacket i feel like is genuinely going to be so versatile so let me show you it full length so here is this white denim jacket on i've just thrown it over the dress so it does definitely fit nice it maybe doesn't fit quite how i was expecting and um, but i do actually think it would be super useful to just throw over things and i also feel like i've never really seen like a white denim jacket before and for 13 brown that's a pretty good deal so yeah quite a big fan i'm liking it then the next item i got for my mom was a pair of white sweatpants and i also picked up some underwear which i will show you not on bod i don't know what the material is it's like a stretchy gym material and they do these thongs and i think maybe full like pants slash briefs in this material they're like 1.75 and they are genuinely the most comfortable underwear that i have tried in a long time so i would honestly recommend calling up to duns so i will see if i can show you them although i might not because also that's kind of weird check them out you'll see them they're in the underwear section so these are the trousers that i got my mom so basically i was looking to get her one of the jackets that i mentioned but or that i will mention later on in the video because i'm recording this separate sections but basically they didn't have the one in her size and i wanted to get her a gray one because i thought that would be best for her but they didn't actually have it in her size so i was looking through the reduced section and they had this pair of trousers so they're like soft like sweat material but they're like kind of like a pleated trouser i thought they'd be like so good for my mom about the house so my mom is retired but they're like smart and she really wouldn't wear like sweats or like loungewear ever i thought these would be really comfortable for her but also like smart that she could wear them with like a linen top or like a wee jumper and she could still run out to the shop i also got her the puma callies a few months back and she's rocking them so i feel like she could wear these together the only thing is though these look white they're actually super cream when you put them against something white so they actually might not go with the trainers the last two things which i got which are kind of a matching set but not quite in a way that i actually really appreciate dunn stores fantastic pajamas really recommend and i might actually go up today and have a look because basically what they seemed to have was like long trousers shorts kind of jumpers and then t-shirts but they were all in similar colors and or patterns so that you could make like whatever you wanted so i prefer to be quite warm at night although i always overheat but i like comfy pajamas so i picked up these long like sky or powder blue almost sweatpants just like loose pants in an extra small which were eight pounds and they have a wee drawstring and then to go with them i got this light and i cannot explain to you how soft this material is it's genuinely so nice this top in an extra small which was also eight pounds so 16 pound for a pajama set not bad and it's this like blue kind of leopard print color you'll be able to see better once i try it on but it has like a drop back like long at the back i would be tempted to maybe get like the t-shirt and the shorts depending on the price of them weather wise i can mix and match because they're super cute here is the pajama top it actually doesn't go like as low back as i thought it would it's more like when it's on it just kind of like tucks up naturally with your body if that makes sense so like it's more just a loose sweatshirt and here is the top of the pajama bottom so i will show the bottom as well but here they are just loose kind of again drawstring pants drawstring pants so this is the whole duo top and bottom and pockets and i cannot explain to you like i am in a world of comfort right now the material of these both are so unbelievably soft they're like so light and soft like i actually can't stop touching them they're so nice on the body and also the touch and i love the color and they're like like full coverage like obviously long, long sleeve but they're not like super super heavy like i feel like these are much more of like an autumn and spring pajama than like a winter pajama but i am obsessed so that is everything that i got obviously i will have tried everything on and talked about it all of this stuff was like 90 pound i did put the prices up and i'll put the individual prices on the screen and i'll maybe do like a tally here of what everything cost but i really just honestly duns i think is a great alternative to some other places because i do find that duns does much better quality clothes and it's always been great for work stuff some of the other brands that it has like Savita and gallery they're expensive and if you get them on the sale 
Also, they do really good sales and it's really, really good work stuff. But previously, I would have found it somewhere that was maybe better for like my mom or my older sisters or me if I was going to work. Also, their homeware section is great, but I haven't really been as drawn to it in the past for clothes. I always like the fleeces and stuff are great and I would honestly recommend Dunn's fleeces and Dunn's pajamas to anyone, but clothing, I feel like it's really starting to get modern and it, they also have these gorgeous jackets in loads of different colours for like 10 or 15 pound I think and I just think I spent 30 on my one from Tesco and I'm kind of raging because honestly I would have got these Dunn's ones if I could have but we're maybe slower behind the times because I got my other one in like March maybe maybe not March but it definitely could have been March so maybe slightly slower to the mark I think they've got some really good stuff definitely definitely worth checking out so if you haven't been I would definitely recommend you check it out I've also seen some girls talking about matching loungewear sets. Unfortunately, both the Duns that I visited didn't seem to have them, but I will keep you updated on my vlogs if I pick up anything else. It's a really good store. I always find it's like a bit of a hidden gem because it's really well priced and it's really good quality. If you haven't noticed, I've raved enough about this. So like I'm saying, check it out. And that is everything for me. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. At this minute when I'm recording, I'm almost at 300 subscribers. So if I'm below that number, I'd really, really really appreciate your subscription and if I'm above that number I'd really appreciate your subscription so thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye